Hi everyone, Abhishek Patel here from Robust QA. In this video, I want to talk about how we can use Selenium WebDriver to automate Windows applications. So before I even execute this code, let me show you this code. So here is the code. I have this conf test and you can see I'm using Selenium WebDriver. Uh, and uh, the test that I have is calculation automation that adds the two number and this one that is going to switch the standard calculator to scientific. Then I have this another test that is going to create a folder inside the file explorer and going to delete that same folder. Now, you may be surprised like how you can use Selenium WebDriver to automate your Windows application, right? So let me give you a little information how Selenium WebDriver works. So when I ask you, like, is it your Selenium web driver that drives your Chrome browser or Microsoft Edge browser? No, it's not the Selenium web driver. It is the Chrome driver that drives the Chrome browser, right? It is Microsoft Edge driver that drives the Microsoft Edge browser, right? Selenium driver is just a way to communicate with your driver whether it's a Firefox driver or it's a Chrome driver or it's a Microsoft Edge driver. It's that driver that is going to drive your browser. Similarly, we have a driver called Windows Application Driver. The same driver we can use to drive our Windows uh, application, to automate our Windows application. So here, as you can see here, Microsoft Win App Driver. So I have to use this WinApp driver and then I can use Selenium API or interface to automate the Windows application. Okay, so before even I execute, uh, execute, here is the thing. So Windows app driver .exe. So I have to first download and extract in the appropriate folder and WinApp driver .exe. So I have to first of all execute this uh, .exe file. So in other words, I have to start this server. Okay, here it is. As you can see, I just started this server, winappdriver.exe, and I have to mention the port on which I want to start. 4724 is port I want to start, WD Hub. Okay, so now when I execute my script, it's going to send the command. The script, the Python script is going to send the command to this server. And this Win App Driver is going to drive the Windows application. I hope it makes clear to you now. Okay, let me keep it here. Uh, and now let's uh, run calculator automation. Okay, so here I'm going to run this. So this is nothing but adding the two numbers. Let's run the Python test. And you see it, and it's it's automating. See one plus three, and test got passed here. And as you can see, it also added the three here, right? So this is as simple as it is. So instead of one, if I do three, so now let's see three plus two should be five. So let's run this test now. So three plus two is five, and it should print five this time, right? It printed five. So as simple as this, so you have to use WinApp driver to automate the Windows application, right? So now let's run both of the tests. So this is going to just simply add and uh, five and the next one is simply going to change to the scientific calculator. And as you can see, it's a scientific calculator now. Okay, so sometimes, you know, it's easy to just you know explore so we can use the win app uh, driver to automate the windows application oracle forms or whatever so here this is the another test windows explorer test so, so this is going to create a folder and it's going to delete the folder so let's run this and see oh sorry i have to change the application from here so calc is going to open the calculator, but here I have to use FE, that is File Explorer, FE. And now I'm going to go back to the Windows Explorer test and going to run it. So 
as you can see it open and now it should click on the C drive yep it did click and here it is it did open it created the folder and it deleted the folder see how simple it is you don't even have to buy the expensive tool just use your selenium 3 make sure you use selenium 3 because selenium 4 is not supported by vnap driver so use selenium 3 and vnap driver and start automating your redundant task and uh, yep that's it that's it uh, that's what i wanted to demonstrate Thank you very much. See you next time.